Hey everybody! Today I want to show you my chipboard album. This is the very first chipboard album I've ever made. It was a brainchild of mine for about a year. The images are from uh, Fred She Said and uh, they're by Tracy and I just love them. All of Tracy's images really inspire me to be the best that I can be. And so today I'm going to show you Emma and her strawberries. I made this little um, charm here. It's a picture of Emma and I used a Tim Holtz fra fragment and also one of these um, Tim Holtz swivels to attach it. And um, these are the images that Tracy made. Here's Emma and I printed these out. They're already colored for me so that was easy so I printed them out and I cut them. You can see there's like several dimensions I, I layered them and then the strawberries have had crystal effects on them because I like them shiny so they look like real strawberries. This right here is a Sizzix die cut and I cut it with um, my cuddle bug on recollection uh, this green uh, glitter paper it's really pretty and of course you see I have gingham paper and this paper right here is from K Company and that is uh, a set that was actually a Valentine paper and I just love the uh, combination of the pinks and the reds with uh, the green gingham. I cut out the word strawberries and that was on a cuddle bug swirls and uh, curls uh, die cuts and I really thought that was cute and again it was on recollection uh, glitter paper. And I had this pink ribbon here. This comes off of a box of Godiva chocolates that we got back in oh, 19, not 19, but probably 2009 and I saved the ribbon and it was just the perfect color to go on here. Also I used some uh, green and white gingham that matches the paper and some little white to spruce it up. So on my chipboard album I tied the bottom of it. And I'm going to open it up to the first page. And this right here um, is a, my first pocket. And I did a lot of recipes. This one's for strawberry chiffon pie. And I also did my own recipe cards. And this was something new for me to make these. And I wanted to make them so I could attach my Emma and the strawberry image, digital images that I used throughout this album so that they would match. So that is what I came up with. And then I made some extra tags with the strawberries um, that you could journal on, uh, put a photo, whatever. So that, that was in this pocket. These were made with the new, uh, I think it's Carnation Spellbinders. Uh, flower die cuts and then the little center is just a starburst uh, punch that's actually on a keychain and the strawberries are one of the strawberries from here I got very creative in coming up with uh, different ways to decorate my pages because there's not a lot of uh, things on the market that are geared towards strawberries and I just love strawberries. Uh, I could eat tons of them. Okay, now the second page is this. This comes out. It just sticks behind here. You could put a picture here. And in here I have another recipe. It's strawberry cake with cream cheese frosting. One of my favorites. Delicious. And this is a Spellbinders frame die cut. And I used... Uh, lipstick, the Distress Ink called uh, Worn Lipstick. Uh, all the edges are done in Worn Lipstick. And then I use diamond uh, stickles to glitter everything up. That just fits in there. And then this is the next page. This is also for uh, a picture. And you can just put your picture right behind these flowers. I used a Sizzix uh, die cut to do these little swirls. It's a sizzlet. And I used an extra petal on this 
particular strawberry flower here. I think it looks so much like a strawberry uh, flower. Okay, whoops. This, this actually goes in the back of here. Um, this is a tag, and I'll t talk about tags later. This is an extra one. This goes right here. Okay, and then I have this page right here. Um, also has a tag, comes right out. There's Emma with her strawberries, and I used her in both the pretty pink and also the green t throughout this album. And I made the little strawberry uh, blossoms again, and uh, more of the sizzlets uh, flourishes to match this page right here. Okay. Then this is the next page, and again, these come out, so you have little pockets to put recipes. You can write your own recipes on these cards. i got another couple cards, and then this opens up. This is Emma, and there's a strawberry muffin recipe, and you can see I put little strawberries on the bottom, and then a recipe for strawberry jam, and these all just fit right back in here. Okay, and then I've got this one again. Here's Emma. Here she is in the green. And I've got pearls in the strawberries again. And then all these tags come out. Get this. And oh, here is another place to put a picture, journal on the back, write a uh, recipe. If you... Uh, you could actually put pictures here of you making strawberry jam or here's a recipe for strawberry ice cream. If you're making strawberry ice cream, you could put a picture there of making strawberry ice cream. And I'll put this back in. And then I have another... Well, it's not going to go in there very easily, so I'll leave it out. And then I have another little tag. I think these tags are so pretty. You could put a picture or journal on the back. Okay, then this is another page I did. Now, if you're going to make strawberry jam, I made this little pocket that opens up, and I made all these little tags, and these are all replicas of the ones that you saw stuck in where the frames are. These are to tie on to your strawberry jam uh, jars when you're done. And you can write the date on the back, of when you made the jam. Um, sometimes you can find different recipes of different types of strawberry jam that may have something else in it. So you could write that on the back of there. But I have um, six of these. The recipe makes uh, six jars, so there was a, a couple extra tags. And I was having so much fun making them that I made eight of them. Okay, and then I just made that. This is a vellum uh, envelope that I made, and it's got a little Velcro on it. And then this is the last page. And um, this is the other piece. There's two of these pretty designs on that Sizzix uh, Big Kicks die. So this was the other piece on it, and I just decorated it with some these little um, white flowers I had in the strawberries. And again, here's Emma. I decided to put Emma on this tag with some little pearl flowers. And again, journaling on the back or a picture. And then I have a recipe here for a summer salad with strawberries. This is awesome. It's got goat cheese in it and mixed greens with a, uh, a uh, dressing that's made with apple cider vinegar and poppy seeds and maple syrup. So it's delicious. And then two more recipes for um, strawberries. And that is the end of my album. It's just plain on the back. And it just ties up. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I have uh, another album in the works really soon of something else that I have been thinking about for a long time. So this was my first one. And I am ready to make another one. Thanks.